Uh, we built this custom vertical lift module for a, a large aircraft manufacturer based out of Seattle. This vertical lift uh, handled carbon fiber pieces, um, which increased their part accuracy and quality. Uh, the VLM held 20 aluminum trays that were 30 inches wide by 40 feet long, and they each weighed 300 pounds for a total capacity of 6,000 pounds. Uh, the VLM overall size was 46 feet long, 19 feet high, and 9 feet wide. Uh, the largest challenge was definitely the flatness tolerance that the customer gave us. We had to hold these parts within 0.1 inch uh, flatness over 40 feet, uh, which is a very tight tolerance. They couldn't have any wrinkles or bubbles in the part, so our machine had to stay very flat and level the whole time while handling the part. Uh, another big challenge was this was being installed in the West Coast, uh, so there are earthquakes there, so we have to be able to prepare for seismic events. Um, so this, this allowed us to use um, our, our SOLIDWORKS modeling tool to do a lot of finite element analysis, make sure that our structure was strong enough um, and that it, was, it would survive an earthquake. Uh, another large challenge was this whole VLM was housed in a freezer, which is at negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so this required very special components that were all freezer rated. All the motors um, had to have special oil inside of them and the powered rollers all had to be freezer rated as well. Uh, our VLM interfaced with a manual transfer cart that had the trays on board. Uh, we had eight fingers that would go reach out and grab the part off of this uh, transfer cart. Those all, all had to be electronically synchronized. We also synchronized two motors that gave us the vertical actuation of the carriage. Um, this allowed the part to stay level and flat the whole time as we held the part.